We begin tonight in Lackawanna County where we are getting a first look at how a bank customer was able to take down a would be robber. Literally, Scott Township police say Robert Sikoski tackled an armed man inside the Honesdale National Bank branch on Friday. Newswatch 16's Peggy Lee is in our newsroom with the story. Peggy. Well, Scott and Charlotte, a surveillance video taken from inside that bank shows Robert Sikoski knocking the robber to the floor, then wrestling the gun away from him. Police arrested the suspect, John Ryle, when he tried to run from the bank. This surveillance video shows Robert Sikoski walking into the Honesdale National Bank near Montdale just before noon on Friday. Two more people walk into the bank and remain standing near the door as they wait their turn. Scott Township Police say that's when John Ryle rushes in wearing a mask and waving a gun to rob the place. He gets the clerk to put money in a bag, but then suddenly Sikoski tackles Ryle, forcing him to the floor where the two men struggle off camera. People living and working near the bank call Sikoski a hero. He is exceptionally brave to have done that. I certainly would not have encountered anybody with a gun. I wouldn't have tried to do it. To be honest, yeah, it's good to see a Samaritan actually take down someone that's doing a robbery over there. And it's, you know, it's actually uh, nice to know that we have a community that's going to help out. When the men come out of the corner, Sikoski takes Rael and again slams him to the floor, taking the gun from him and throwing the bag of money across the room. Sikoski manages to get Rael's mask off, then lets go. Rael then heads straight out the doors and begins running away. Sikoski comes outside, directs police to where he was headed. Officers were able to charge Rael after Sikoski and bank employees identified him as the robber. Sikoski is the general manager of the Carbondale Grand Hotel. He wasn't there, but his employees say they were both shocked and proud of what he did. He's definitely a hero, um, but there's, he's just a normal guy. I mean, he's, he's, he's personable, he's, he's a good boss, he never gets angry. I'm honestly surprised he did it. And Ryle faces a slew of charges, including robbery and making terroristic threats. He's locked up in the Lackawanna County Prison. He is due in court next week. Peggy Lee, Newswatch 16, reporting live in the newsroom.